Hi, Peter with Hammer in Hand out at the uh, Pumpkin Ridge Passive House. Um, we're uh, looking at our uh, above grade foam protection. Um, in the past, we've used a product called Finex, which is a uh, cementaceous board with no wood fibers in it. It's a specialty product out of Canada. Uh, it's pretty expensive and hard to get our hands on. So we're doing a site built version of that where we've taken uh, your basic hardy panel, which um, untreated is not uh, acceptable for ground contact. Um, we've coated it in a Tamaseal uh, concrete cementaceous protectant. Hardy comes from the factory primed on one side, which is usually the side exposed, um, and then unprimed on the back. We take the back, we uh, apply the Tamaseal to the back so that we still have a prime coat sealing this side. Um, the Tamaseal is brought around onto the edges as well, so it's, it's uh, coated on all six sides. Uh, it's then applied to our foam using uh, this aluminum reglet at the joints, which can be cut with uh, any woodworking tool. So the Tamaseal uh, is able to run through the, the flexing of the, the hardy without losing its waterproofness. As you can see, we can get a lot of motion out of that and uh, maintain our, our surface. And it takes a pretty good amount of abuse. So any uh, weed whacker, line, lawnmower, or errant baseball shouldn't be a problem. In a high exposure area, uh, we would not recommend this technique, but where we're using it, we are um, well protected by our Larson above, which is actually quite a bit wider th than uh, the face of this concrete. We also have very large overhangs on our house, so the amount of moisture that we'll be seeing coming up against this is going to be very, very minimal. So to apply this, we use inner foam, uh, which creates an amazingly strong bond. Uh, this is a 12-inch piece that goes well below grade. We apply the foam almost entirely on the whole surface. Um, put it up using uh, stakes and wedges, hold it there maybe 15 minutes, and then once everything's removed, you can pretty much uh, remont it as hard as you want and it's not coming off. It'll, it'll pull the foam away from the foundation before it separates from the foam. So in the end, uh, we're able to get back to, on a normal house, which would be just your exposed stem wall, um, you know, we're, it's, it's like concrete, looks like concrete, will act like concrete, but secretly has six inches of foam behind it. So the use of the, of the the Tamaseal for the foam protection stems from it. It was designed to do just that on a normal stem wall. In normal building, your exposed stem wall would be covered with this for waterproofing and appearance. So by using the combination of that and the hardy, we're bringing the same system to our passive house, even though it's foam and not concrete.